Yo yo, boys and girls, it's your boy Diversity back with another video for the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in lately, watching all the videos, showing the love, loving all the content that's been coming out, and thank you all for the messages you've been leaving about the videos, about improvements I can make, been reading them all, been listening to all your guys' advice, and gotta say, love every minute of it. Keep it coming, boys and girls. Let's aim for 15 likes on this video. And let's get in straight into transfer chat number two. I thought it was how number one went down so well. You know what? Let's continue it. Let's go into number two. Just because I felt like you guys liked what I brought. It Maybe for some fans who couldn't check their social medias that day or that week for some reason. Or some that maybe just missed the news of it. I think it was a good thing because I'm like your little backup like to tell you what might have happened. What you might have missed this like coming week or two. There isn't that much info for this video. However, there is a few little bits of pieces I've got down there on my bit of paper to talk about and if you haven't noticed already I've actually got some self phone merch on for once yes it's all been packed away in the box as me and the missus are moving house in the next few days this video is probably going to be out while we are moving so hope you enjoy the video boys girls let's smash a like down below and let's get straight into this episode so if you're new around here, you don't know how the transfer chat works. Basically, we try and aim for three people who are coming into the club that are rumoured or have actually signed or on loan, and three who are going out that have left or might be going out on loan or have just been, you know, sacked and left by mutual consent. However it works, we're just going to go into it straight away. It's not that much of a big episode, this one. There is a little bit of news for the ins and outs, but not as much as the first one. But anyway, boys and girls, let's get straight into this. I'm going to go into the first in one, which isn't too bad, but it is... Jack Bridge mentioned again. So I mentioned him last week in the first transfer chat that he is with the Blues, he is training, he's been around since the youth team, he's been here since I think the age of eight it was that he's been there and I did mention last time he could be a useful asset to us and I still think if he if we're given the choice or if Mark Mosley's given the choice that he should definitely be kept in and there is apparently a decision coming up in the next few days I think it is just to see what's going on with him can we actually a afford him with the or can we get him in with the embargo going on and anything like that but I definitely think he's someone useful he could be almost a rotating midfielder I still think we need to sign like a ball winning midfielder like a big hard house in the middle of there just to get in a player's face just to nick the ball back doesn't isn't afraid to go in for a challenge maybe pick up a yellow card anything like that. I still think we need someone like that however the more people we have in a squad the better it will be for us in the long run because League 2 is obviously a very physical league so we need all the legs available so Jack Bridge first one in reckon it could happen but you know Time will tell. Will money afford it? Will Mark Mosley like him? It's two, it's two sides of a coin, but I'd love to see him here just for what I said, the extra leg power and for the physicality of the league. And he has the experience as well. So into the first out now for the episode. Now, these two players I'm going to mention have actually both left the club. One is a bit more sad, I'd like to say, that... I'd miss him a bit more. One, obviously, is still missed, but maybe not as huge an impact. So we're going to start off with Sam Barrett here. Earlier this week, he did say in the Echo, or he did say in the Echo News, that he has actually left the club and that he did not take up the offer of another contract. He, he quoted in that that he was gutted to leave. And to be fair, I thought he was League One, like a lower League One player standard. So I thought when we were relegated, I thought... Because I put him recently in a video in the t in the South End in or out video. Make sure you check that out. I put him in the keep, even though he had a major injury, was out for a, about a year and a bit. He came back against Wimbledon and he actually started to turn our form round. And he was an exciting young player. I thought we should have kept him. I wanted him to stay personally, but obviously. You know, money talks as well. And when you're not getting paid on time at a job and then you get offered a contract again that says like, oh, stay with us, we'll try and pay you on time. It's like, mm, not really, don't want to. But no, I can definitely see him making a move, maybe for another League Two team, even a conference team, even a League One team. He was he was a great little player, always exciting. When he came on, it was that little difference maker, that little bit of flair, that little bit of skill, even nutted a, a comment throughout. I'll try and find that clip and put it in here. If I don't, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Go Sam. But no, Sam Barrett, love to keep him, but a hey, like I said, similar to Jack Bridge, it's two sides of a coin. Well, no, I wouldn't like to keep him. What am I saying? He's gone. <laughs> He's literally just gone. I'm talking about the same thing as the Inns. So no, Sam Barrett's gone. He's obviously going to be a big miss, and hopefully we can make up without him now that that is one winger gone. But... 
that, yeah, that's not all for the outs. We're going to go into the second out now as well while I'm on this topic. And it is Stephen McLaughlin. He has, it has been announced that he has left the club. Apparently, he put on Twitter a few weeks ago that he hadn't been offered a contract. He's not held talks or anything like that. Now, I can see him being one of our more expensive earners because he came from Nottingham Forest in the Phil Brown era. And we know how much Phil Brown loves to get players in and say, we'll give you a little bit extra on your contract if you sign with us. But... Nah, for one of the highest earners, I thought on his day, he was a really good player. He was untouchable on his day. If he came out on the field in, in the first 10 minutes, he was amazing. You knew for that game, he is going to be a standout. He's going to be getting assists, doing great passes, great little bits of flair. Just He was an all-round, you could not touch him on his day. But it wasn't consistent enough, I felt. Maybe two games a month, if there were six games, maybe two or three, he was good. It was just not consistent. Some games, obviously, when the confidence is bad in the team, the team morale's down, obviously, you're not going to perform as well. I understand that. But it's just a bit, you know, there wasn't enough consistency from him. So I'm I'm a bit gutted he's gone because he was in that team that brought us up from League Two. And I thought, oh, you know what? We've got the likes of John White there. We've got McLaughlin. They're the last, they were the last two players left of the Phil Brown promotion error and now it's over it's only John White left and I've got to say I'll come on to it in a minute but I think he 100% deserves the captaincy John White but back to McLaughlin I had mixed reviews on him he had 186 apps for Southend 21 goals in his five year well loan stint whatever it was his five years here with the club on his day he was unstoppable and he came from Nottingham Forest on loan during that Phil Brown area if I forgot to mention that part I'm completely sorry but no McLaughlin and Barrett two wide players who pretty much were I wouldn't say great, but they were definitely good and needed in a team like this, have now gone and it leaves a major gap now in the team because who could we put out wide? We've obviously signed Jordan Green on a six-month loan. However, if that will go through under embargo rules, I don't know. So it's always a bit like, ooh, so we might be relying on Terrell Egbry a bit more, maybe playing Isaac Hutchinson out on the wing. We might, if we're able to play Jordan Green, that's free. You know, we still need, I think, like I said, a good hard-hitting midfielder in the centre to win the ball back. Because we have the likes of Lewis Gard, Harry Phillips. Just those two youngsters look brilliant on the field. But I think you need someone maybe a bit more experienced just to sit in behind them as like a CDM role and just be putting their foot in, maybe going for the yellow card, just getting in the player's mind that I'm here, you're not getting past me, you're not going to try anything with me today. I definitely think we need that. We definitely need another winger and maybe even another striker or two. Just I know it's hard under an embargo. I'm, I could sit here all day and say, we need this player, we need that player, this player would be good. But simply, can we do it at this time? No, it just needs a lot of time to get through I think with Mosley being here I hopefully as a long-term solution I hope this embargo is sorted as soon as possible in September so Mosley can actually start his role and get in players he wants in I know he's not fussed about that role he said in a recent interview that he's not fussed about the wage he'll just get on with the job which I've got to say I love to see that that passion that working hard like, I don't need the money I'll train these boys up to be my team that is absolute gold and I think that is brilliant from our manager and he is the manager for us 100%. Anyway, off of the outs and who we should be getting in and all that, and on to not so much an in, but something going around the club in Emile Aqua. He's been with Southend for a while. He went out last season on loan to Maidenhead. He only scored... No, actually, he didn't score. He only got one up. I'm looking down there on all my facts. He's done 14 appearances for Southend. He scored one goal during that time. I think it's for the senior team. And as for a response from him, it's... a. Uh, it's a maybe. He wasn't in my in or out video because I thought he wasn't staying. But now he said he wants to prove himself in the team. Obviously, we don't have many strikers. Only have the likes of Kelman, Humphreys, Goodship, Kel no, not Kelman, Rush. So we've already got four semi-decent good ones and Kenny Coco and Freddie. Yeah, we've, still got, we've got quite a lot, but Aqua obviously wants to stay and prove himself. He feels this is now his time, I reckon, to be like there's a new manager and he might have not gone well with Sol Campbell just because he was loaned out really quickly. And I just think he didn't get on too well. But now Mosley's here, I think it's settled the whole thing. And recently, I've got to say, these pre-season games, if anyone is watching them or listening to them, we have won the first opening three games. We came back from against Chelsea 
result. And what was it? Canvey, I think, or Great Wakering. We beat them. We got Millwall this weekend. I've got to say, just while we're on the topic of Mosley, he has done superbly well. Even though these are pre-season games, we've had no manager for about three months, three, two and a half months. No one to train the players. They've just been told to get on with what they were doing. And he's come in. He's rose the confidence up so much in this team. He's gone from rock bottom now to thinking like, OK, there's a good like morale in the change room. We're keeping clean sheets. We're using both goalkeepers in Oxley and Seed. And it is just great to see the like the whole team's been played around. We're able to play two different teams a half. That's how much Mosley is A, looking at these players and B, how much I think he trusts them to lead this club back to where it should be. But... On to a slightly different thing this video. It's not so much a transfer thing. It's a recent thing going out about the captaincy for the club. There's been no captain announcement yet. So I just think I want to get my piece in quickly and then leave your comments down below on whatever you're watching. It's on YouTube, the interweb, Twitter, whatever you're leaving on. Leave your comments down below. Who do you think should be the captain for South End? I'm going to list off the four who I saw in the Echo News that are pretty much in the top running I'd say maybe something different but no the top four I think are John White, Jason Dimitri, Mark Oxley and Timmy Deang. So off those four I'm picking White straight away even though he's only here for six months he's been here for a long long time he's brought us up from promotion at several not several actually no not several times he's brought us up from promotion from league two we're back in this league again we need someone who's been here had the experience to take us back up to league one I feel he is the man Jason Dimitri I'd make vice captain because obviously if White gets injured he's had a troubled history with injuries I'd make him me backup captain because like I said he's one of the older players in this club he's definitely been around a long time he was came in with the Phil Brown era he's got great experience for the national side I think he's captured them a couple of times actually so he is definitely one I'd say as vice captain Oxley gotta say didn't work last year don't try it again he did try his hardest I could see him yelling from the back but it just didn't get across well he didn't control the, his box well he didn't control the goal well so I can't see him getting that captain seat back if he does then fair play can't say like he, well, he doesn't, I don't think he does deserve it, but I'm sure there's fans out there that think, like, okay, he deserves a second shot. And as for Timmy Dieng, he did really good in these first season. I thought he took on really well. Other people are going to say, no, he didn't. He didn't lead the team too much. But no, I thought he was decent, but maybe it was too much pressure. So maybe we should take that pressure off him and just let him settle back as either a defender or a midfielder or a mix of the both and just concentrate on that instead of having to run the team as well. That is just my overall view of the captaincy. John White all the way with Dimmy as vice captain. Leave your comments down below. What should we be saying for the captain, who should we be bringing in? Who should we be letting out for these last like couple weeks or however long it is of the transfer market to go? But anyway, boys and girls, I'm going to wrap up this video. I'm sorry if it's been a bit, if I'm being a bit slow today or if I just seem a bit tired and all that. I've been moving a lot of stuff lately on the, over the last couple of days to the other house. That's why the room behind me is all really bare. You've only got some curtains up there and some like colouring pens up there and actually a spare bed, which I need to really get rid of, don't I? But no, boys and girls. The move is going on at the minute. Hopefully everything will be settled. I have a new setup planned for these videos. There's gonna be stuff on the wall behind me. It's not just gonna be these damp old drapey curtains sat behind me. But no, boys and girls, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please leave your likes, your comments, all your love down below. Even, you know what, even if you like it that much, or if you've got any ideas for videos, if you wanna be in videos or anything like that, hit me up on the Twitter, the Instagram, all down in the description down below. Make sure you're following those as well, as there is gonna be a giveaway coming up with it in time for the new season. So anyone who's looking for some little surprises or gifts maybe for family or friends at the beginning of the season, make sure to stick around for these videos as it will be coming out soon, as soon as me and the missus have moved and we're set and ready to go again but thank you so much for watching boys girls my name's been diversity and you guys know how you do this now i've seen a lot of your comments going like this so we're going to do it one more time three two one peace